And again, it's important to know they're going in this box, there'll be a lot of bees, they'll be agitated and confused, and it's important that you all know, and if you have the space for it, to say that this is a, a temporary holding pattern. They're getting a lot of airflow from the fan moving air gently through it, and we're very quickly going to be moving them out some, someplace where they And the last time you recover. used my vacuum, what did you say? Uh, it was perfect. perfect. Oh yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was, it was the right amount of time. Just yeah. enough to suck a bee off, yeah. not really enough to suck up anything hard. You, you couldn't get the hair off your neck if you had a good shave with it. And, it's, and more than that will kill bees and get, get honey in there. And if you get honey and moisture in there, now you have bees tumbling through honey. And uh, you're wasting your time, you're just torturing them, they're going to all die. And uh, like I say, a lot of people think you can do any damn thing you want with a vacuum, and it's not the close to throat. Uh, more people are killing bees with vacuums uh, in the name of goodness than it sounds like a Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young song. You just don't like talking. Okay, you ready, Cliff? Nice ventilated suits, airflow. I have the hot box. Well, that's because Greg is on a special low cal, uh, high sweat diet, and uh, he's been very successful with it. Yes. And he looks great, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. No. And I, you know, I work high for probably uh, you know four to seven hours a day, and uh, having what's called uh, a Brazilian suit uh, makes a big difference. It's a lot cooler. off and on top we have a screen. So when we're done we'll take that off, the top of it off, and there'll be a screen there that will transport this out to a safe location and I'll marry it up with the brood. And uh, and the bees are attracted to the brood. You, you kids, so you'd walk through fire for your kid, wouldn't you? And uh, the bees are the same way about their brood. Smell that smell right now in the air? So that's a pheromone that tells you the bees are getting upset. It smells a little bit like bananas, and it's just because we're breaking up their hive. And there's a little bit of honey on here, which I have to be careful now about sucking up the bees because uh, if we get stuff wet, bad would let you know. <laughs> yeah, you'd see me run by you. Yeah, uh, but then again, uh, you if know. I run by you, that's not <coughs> a good, that's not a good sign. <laughs>